right, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to gap your spark plugs. I replaced my spark plugs probably about 100 miles ago, and I usually don't get on this car much, but we were trying to tune it the other day, and I was having a misfire, and so that's why I took my exhaust apart and found out that my uh, catalytic converter was completely, the inside of it was completely gone and blown out. I guess it blew out right out the exhaust pipe. So anyway, I guess I didn't really need to replace my downpipe. I could have just used that one, but uh, anyway, we did that. And so we're gonna talk about uh, gapping these spark plugs and see if we can get rid of this misfire on this car. I'm gonna come over here and show you what wrenches you need. You just need a 10 millimeter wrench to remove your coils. And then you need a 5 8 uh, socket to uh, a deep socket. It's really a spark plug socket to remove the spark plug. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set this down and uh, I'm going to take the stuff apart. It's really simple. I already loosened it up. Comes apart easy. It's not a problem. I'm just going to show you how to do one of them. This is how I do it. Right now they're gapped at 34 and that's a stock. When you buy a new set of spark plugs, they come at 34. And some people recommend that you keep it at the largest uh, gap you can get. And so I thought 34 would be all right, but we're running about 26 PSI. And uh, it wouldn't, uh, it just kept misfiring. So we're gonna gap it down to about 30 and we'll see if we still have a problem. So I guess, I guess what can happen when you have a large gap is it can blow the spark from the spark plug and cause a misfire. So that's why I'm gonna gap them down from the stock recommended gap. It's really simple to get out. Probably a lot of you guys have replaced these spark plugs already. Um, my next video, we're gonna be talking about, I was having a problem with my engine burning oil. I had rebuilt it and I couldn't ever figure out what the problem was, so. Um, anyway, you can see it's burning pretty good. It's got a good uh, I don't know maybe burning a little lean rich. I'm not sure I'm not a spark plug guy, but I'll show you how to set that gap. This is the way I do it anyway. All right, what you can see is here I got a filler gauge and on it it's marked 31, 30 and 25. I'm going to use the 30 one in the center there and that's what I'm going to check my my gap with so. Basically what I do is, on these iridiums, I guess the tips are really, really prone to breaking. So you, you wanna be careful when you're doing it, but I just tap on it a little bit, something hard. This just happens to be a vice that I have in my garage. So just tap on it a little bit until you get the right gap. Um, that's kind of how I do it. And uh, I'll show you once I have a gap. All right, now I've got a gap. And when you're tapping on the thing, you just barely need to tap on it make sure you get the right gap you can see the 31 will not fit this is the 25 that fits right in there and this one barely fits in there so that's a 30 gap and that's how you gap your spark plug now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up and uh, gap all the three other spark plugs that I have another thing I want to mention is that when you're using when you're gapping your spark plugs or putting new ones in you want to make sure you put some anti-seize right on the edge of the threads right at the start like right here you don't want to make sure you want to make sure you don't get any of that grease anywhere near uh, where the sparks gonna happen because it'll foul your plug so just put it on the very edge all the way around and as you screw it in it will go throughout the head all right I got the spark plugs back in they're gapped I'm gonna go take this thing for a test drive if you're wondering why this blow off valve isn't hooked up because it's not used we're just using the one that's on the uh, turbo um, what I need to do is make a plate for that and remove it because it looks terrible just sitting there not hooked up but you can see right here I got a catch can uh, for oil consumption which doesn't seem to really catch much oil but I'll discuss that in my next video on how come my engine was burning so much oil and I could never figure out what the problem was. But if you uh, like this video, please like and subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you next time.